Hey YouTube, um, this is one of these new Kohler engines with the smart choke. Uh, well, they ain't so smart. They're pretty ass stupid if you ask me. Anyhow, this tractor only has 40 hours on it and the thermostat's already shot. Uh, the parts are on back water. No idea how long it's going to take for them to come in. And uh, so what I did is I drilled a small hole here. I hooked a small spring to it because what this is doing is every time it goes to start, this is just flat, the butterfly is just flapping around. So it's not shutting, letting the gasket into the carburetor the way it's supposed to. So this extra spring holds this smart choke back and it holds that butterfly closed long enough to where it gets the thermostat to work in and start doing its job. I'll give you a little demonstration. See, it closes that butterfly right up. And it gives me tension on this spring to close it because this uh, thermostat is not working right. But uh, hopefully that'll be a quick fix for anybody out there. Um, I was going to hook up a manual choke, and it's like, there's got to be a better way. So I conjured up this idea here, and it seems to work. This why they couldn't just stick with a regular manual choke is beyond me. It's freaking bullshit. You got three things working this choke. You got this, that which is coming out of the pressure switch. This is holding 14 volts, which heats up the coil inside the thermostat, which regulates how far this opens and closes. And then you got your wind vane that, as the motor turns over, that opens the choke just enough to get things working. And, I don't know, it's a bunch of horse shit. Anyhow, I hope this helps somebody out. All right, talk to you later. Bye.